In this lecture, we are going to learn about the different types of hazards. We are going to discuss it by one by one. The first one is design related hazards. For example, risk due to size and shape of the medical device. Risk due to material selection of the medical device. Risk due to the software and hardware design and so on. The next one is process and manufacturing related hazards. For example, coating process, soldering process or clean room related hazards and so on. The next one is user related hazards. For example, untrained professionals deviating from the work instruction or instruction for use and user manual. It leads to hazards and impact to the patient. The next type of hazard is label, packing and transportation hazards. For example, ink integrity in the label, pouch peel strength of packing pouch, product withstanding the vibration, if it is the cotton or corrugated box packing, it has to withstand the vibration during the transportation. The next is biocompatible hazard. For example, if you are using the material which has to implant into the human body, the material reaction with the body fluids and tissues, this is one kind of biocompatible hazard. The next one is clinical hazards. For example, urinary tract infection, bleeding, trauma, infection or dizziness and so on. The next is environmental hazard. For example, temperature of the hospital environment or ICU or emergency sections. Then the cleanliness around the hospital or patient rooms. Then the ultrasonic scanning machine needs special working environment like clean and dark. The MRI machines require special setup with absence of metals. The next is installation and service related hazards. For example, the safety of the operator while installation and service and the compatible to the installation and service based on the design of product. The hazard is further classified into two categories. The one category is fault condition, the other category is normal condition. For fault condition, hazards are caused by the manufacturer error, like the design failure, wrong material selection on the devices, insufficient packing material quality and so on. Basically, the fault condition is completely based on the manufacturer's side error. Then the next one is normal condition. The hazards are caused by user error like untrained user or untrained professional or user not utilize the IFU or instruction for use or overconfidence of the user about the device and operating procedure and so on.